A whole new, untouched chamber has just been discovered within the Great Pyramid of Giza. It was first detected by scans back in 2016, and after years of further investigation using a variety of techniques, solid video proof of its existence has just been shared to the world. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe if you want to hear about more of the latest big discoveries in Egypt. This corridor sits right behind the chevron-shaped blocks marking the entrance to the pyramid just below on its northern face. So imagine that. Countless tourists have passed right by it and it's still been left completely untouched for over four thousand years. These chevrons originally sat behind even more chevron-shaped blocks, the remnants of which are still visible, but these were broken off in the Middle Ages after the pyramid's shiny white limestone casing had also been stripped away. So I guess the process of discovering this began all the way back in the Middle Ages. These sorts of chevron-shaped blocks were first tried out in the Great Pyramid, allowing for larger rooms by protecting them from collapsing under the enormous weight above them. It's 9 meters, or 30 feet long, and it's 2.1 meters wide. It also seems tall enough for someone to stand in. The corridor's exact function isn't known, but it's thought to have been created to redistribute the weight around the main entrance, or, as some have suggested, possibly around another as yet undiscovered space. But I'm sure you're wondering how this chamber was discovered in the first place. Well, the team who found it are a part of the Scan Pyramids mission, which was launched in 2015 and, as you can sort of guess from the name, aims to scan and analyze Old Kingdom pyramids, and not just the Great Pyramid, using various non-destructive techniques. It was coordinated by Cairo University's Faculty of Engineering and France's HIP Institute, but has also partnered with Nagoya University, the French CEA Commission, and the Technical University of Munich, along with some others. The Scan Pyramids mission first detected this corridor as a thermal anomaly back in 2016, after the pyramid was analyzed using infrared thermography. Muon emulsion films were then installed by Nagoya University underneath the anomaly in the pyramid's original ancient entrance, the so-called descending corridor. With this, the thermal anomaly turned into a previously unheard of void. The muon particles, used to detect this void are created when cosmic rays from exploding stars far out in space bombard the atoms in Earth's upper atmosphere. They're able to get hundreds of yards into rock before being absorbed, and that of course includes the blocks making up the Great Pyramid. The void was dubbed Scan Pyramid's North Face Corridor, and because no one likes long names, it was abbreviated to SBNFC. The void was further investigated using muography from different points in the tunnels underneath, also in 2016, and much more was learnt about it. In 2019 and 2020, the CEA, which is the French Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission, blech, placed its own muon detectors underneath the void. The Technical University of Munich also joined the Scan Pyramids mission in 2020 to confirm SBNFC's existence and analyze the void with ground-penetrating radar and ultrasonic testing applied to the surface of the Chevron. That's why scaffolding has been seen at the entrance of the Great Pyramid for a while now. On the same day that the video of the chamber was released, March the 2nd, the results of all this work were published in two different articles. The Goya University and the CEA's results were combined into a paper entitled This. It was published in Nature Communications and reveals the void's precise location and dimensions within a few tens of centimeters, which is pretty impressive considering that they couldn't even see what they were measuring, right? The results of Cairo University and the Technical University of Munich's work was published in a paper entitled This which was published in NDT&E International, which is a journal dedicated to non-destructive testing and evaluation. But that, of course, begs the question, how was the actual video of the chamber taken? Well, the results of all this analysis allowed the researchers to realize that the corridor could feasibly be reached through the chevrons because there's a tiny joint in them. So they were finally able to conclusively confirm the corridor's existence by feeding a 6 millimeter thick endoscope brought from Japan through that joint. And this is what they found.
The implications of this discovery are enormous. It proves that different non-destructive techniques, like those used by the Scan Pyramid's mission, can be used to reliably locate cavities that are otherwise completely hidden. It's also the first major inner structure found in the Great Pyramid since 1837, when Howard Weiss blasted his way into the uppermost four relieving chambers above the King's Chamber. It does seem, however, that this chamber comes to a dead end, as Professor Christian Gross of the Technical University of Munich a leading member of the project has said, now the question is what's behind these stones and below the chamber. It probably fulfills the same function as the five relieving chambers directly above the king's chamber, which are thought to have been built to relieve all the weight above it, hence the name relieving chamber. This chamber either redistributes the weight around the main entrance or around an as yet undiscovered space beneath, the view taken by Mustafa Waziri, head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities. He of course added that the pharaoh could have had more than one burial chamber, because Egypt needs tourist money and these guys really like to overhype discoveries like this. Within the four out of five chambers he found, Howard Weiss discovered important graffiti in red paint left by the work gangs who built the pyramid for Khufu. I'm hoping that just maybe graffiti like that might somehow be found within this chamber too. I remember that when I was a little kid in the 2000s, there was a lot of hubbub around footage of new finds in the Great Pyramid that sort of look like they're blown out of the water by this. These projects were more focused on exploring the mysterious air shafts leading off from the Queen's Chamber with little robots and they resulted in the discovery of a little bit more graffiti and two strange copper handles affixed to a limestone slab. So it definitely seems possible that more like this could be found. I don't see any graffiti or the like in the video of the new chamber though, so who knows. Oh, and of course, as with every other big discovery in Egypt for the past 20 years, Zahi Hawass just had to make an appearance. He and Egypt's current Minister for Tourism, Ahmed Asa, announced the discovery Thursday at an unveiling ceremony just outside the pyramid. It's sort of justifiable since Hawass does head the science committee overseeing the Scan Pyramids project, but he has been very vocally critical of their previous announcements. This includes the announcement of a massive 98 foot or 30 meter long void discovered just above the Grand Gallery leading up to the King's Chamber back in 2017. With the existence of the corridor, the pyramid's northern face being set in stone, it looks like the much larger corridor above the Grand Gallery could be real too. It just remains to be seen how anyone will get up there. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more like this, and goodbye.